Hi, and welcome to another session. Today I'm going to explain how to create a very simple VFD and soft starter control panel drawing. Before we go ahead and talk further how to create a VFD and soft starter control panel drawing, it's important to understand what is VFD and what is soft starter. A VFD or variable frequency drive is type of motor controller that drives an electrical motor by varying the frequency and voltage of its power supply for smooth ramp up and ramp down or variable speed control of the motor. For better understanding of a working of VFD, the video link is provided into description of the video. Now let's understand what is soft starter. A soft starter is a solid state device that protects AC electric motors from damage caused by sudden influxes of a power by limiting the large initial inrush of a current associated with the motor startup. They provide gentle ramp up to full speed during the startup by increasing the voltage in steps. Click on the link provided into the description for better understanding of differences between VFD and soft starter. Bottom line is we need electrical motor control devices to reduce the inrush currents during motor startup and protect the motor and other equipments from damage. It also protects the personals working in the area from any harm. You may ask me, what are the applications of using motor control devices like VFD? Most common uses of VFD are for control of fans, pumps, compressors, and these applications accounts for 75% of all drives operating globally. Soft starters are used in less sophisticated types of motor controllers. You might not be aware of that, that in our daily life we use many systems run by VFD. Building elevators, small escalators, compressors and filters in a large AC units swimming pool pumps, package conveyors in airports, etc. Now in our previous video, we talk about making a complete schematic with panel layout along with automatic generation of reports using ePlan software. Today we will use ePlan software again to create this VFD and soft starter control panel. During the drawing preparation, one thing we need always are schematic and panel layout blocks. ePlan provide a huge library of components for motor starters from different manufacturers like Siemens, Schneider, ABB, Danfoss, Rockwell and many more. We will go to ePlan data portal and download different VFDs and soft starters to use in our project. For example, Siemens Snabic series drive and Cyrus series soft starter both for 55 kilowatt rating. I have added these parts into the download list of our data portal. If you click on each of these products, you can see the details like part number, description, technical characteristics, schematic macros, 2D and 3D macros along with an image. I will go ahead and import them to my system. All information needed for design is now available immediately. No need to spend hours creating these blocks manually. We start with our typical ePlan project for motor control panel. As you can see, we have a cover sheet, table of contents, technical specification, general arrangement, GA, our panel layout, power wiring diagram, and control schemes. Now I will jump to my power wiring diagram page. Here we have 415 volt three phase incoming power supply. Through these terminals X0 going to the circuit breaker Q0 you have indication lamp here for R, Y and B phases. From breaker the supply is distributed by bus bar system to the breaker Q1 and Q2. Here we need to place our VFD and soft starter. Same as previous video, we go to the insert center and we can see our two parts that we have downloaded from data portal are already available here 
in our library. We can go ahead, select VFD part, drag and drop into schematic, no manual work required. It comes with full block and technical details. Similarly, we will drag and drop soft starter as well from the insert center and schematics are done. In the next page, we have a very simple supply for the cabinet cooling fan and 24 volt DC power supply for our control scheme. It is 5 ampere DC output from this rectifier. Now we will jump to our controls and indication page. Here we have a very simple start and stop control for our VFD and soft startup with emergency stop for operator intervention. The relay signal controls the on and off respectively. The indication lamp shows if motor is running, stopped or tripped. The status signals can be taken to PLC or controller for feedback to the controller or HMI. Now we go back to general arrangement or layout. We can observe the panel front view with all indication lamps, fan filters, emergency stop button. The panel internal view shows all components used in the panel scheme. We can observe the same sequence of operation incoming supply coming from the terminal X0 going to the main breaker Q0, then into the bus bar distribution for breaker Q1 and Q0. Q1 breaker will supply our VFD. As we saw in our last video, we can easily drag and drop these components used in the scheme using 2D panel layout navigator. So we will place our VFD that controls our motor here. Q2 breaker will supply to our soft starter. We will just drag and drop as well into panel here. The arrangement is up to us. We have made some simple representation for R, Y and B wires for easy understanding of how the supply is transmitted and goes further to terminals X1 and X2 and into motor in the field. And once our scheme and general arrangement is ready, we can now generate all the reports with one click. We will get our bill of materials, detail pass list, terminal drawing, name plate details. You can see understanding electrical drawing is very easy. Making drawing using e-plan is even easier. Thanks to the inbuilt libraries, automated features and full user customization. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you found the information useful, for more information, feel free to contact ePlan at the website provided on the screen. We will conclude today's session with some interesting facts. Do you know globally around 25% of electrical energy is consumed by electrical motors used in industrial applications? Using one or multiple VFDs can reduce consumption in a facility by up to 70%. In our next video, we will talk about how we draw the panel in 3D and the benefits of using ePlan Pro Panel 3D for your panel assembly and production. Until next time. Please like and share the video, subscribe for more interesting content related to automation and electrical. Till next video, take care and bye bye.